So Alistair Johnston finally gets some time off after being put out the Copa America by Argentina. It's no disgrace getting put out by Argentina, is it? But last night, Spain. Wow, did you watch that game? Did you watch the Spain game last night? Spain were absolutely just toying. Absolutely. The last 20 minutes, you've got to admit, they were just toying with France. Keeping the ball and that young 16 year old, what an absolute player. But Nico Kuhn yesterday took to the media after a pre season training session. And uh, we'll talk about the players that were pictured at the pre season training yesterday at Lennox Town. First up was the one and only Lewis Palmer. Uh, he was pictured giving a little V sign. And then Stephen Welsh. Big season for Stephen Welsh, if you ask me. It's a massive, massive season for him if he wants to kick on his career. And then there's Mikey Johnson. That's an interesting one because you can see Mikey Johnson in the background. I wonder what will happen to him. Obviously, Mikey Johnson, the Celtic player, wanted a way to get more game time. He went away down south and he was an absolute star. It was an absolute star. And then there's the man that everyone is talking about still. The speculation is rife with Matt O'Reilly, but he's all smiles at training. He's not letting any of the speculation, obviously, affect him, as you would expect from Matt O'Reilly. Um, he did go to India to meet his guru during the season, the pre-season, well, during the summer. So I don't know where I'm going this morning. During the summer, he did go to India to meet up with his mindset coach. He knew, we all know that he has a mindset coach in India. And he goes there to chill out and just put things into perspective. Then the media turned their eyes to Nico Kuhn. Let's listen to what Nico Kuhn had to say to the media yesterday. To be back, uh, it was good to have some, some days off. But now we start on focusing on, on the next season. Do you feel that the preseason is getting ramped up as the days go by? Obviously. Yeah, of course. It was a heavy couple of days already, but uh, now we're looking forward to, to America and, and to the start of the season. How exciting is that trip going to be for the guys? Yeah, really. It's not going to be a good trip. It's going to be hard work. Be nice. I think we have some, some good tests over there, so, so we're all happy and looking forward to it. When you approach a new campaign, do you set yourself new targets, new goals? How do you look ahead to the new season? Yeah, I think for, for the team, it's going to be the same targets as, as last season. Hey, so the team wants the treble. And for me personally, of course, I want to show now and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, let everyone see what I can do. How do you think last season went for you from a personal point of view? I think the beginning was quite difficult coming in. Uh, of course, I've told a lot of times now with the uh, with a lot of uh, weight loss and stuff. Then it was getting better and... He only came in in January. What a ridiculous... I mean, it always takes... When, when foreign players come in, then even the, the last manager said that when you bring somebody in in December, uh, or in the January, as it was, the transfer market uh, window, you won't see the best of them until the next season, until they got a pre-season in them. And at the end, I was I was feeling good. I came uh, more into the team, connected with, with everyone. So I'm happy to have a full pre-season now. Do you think you can cement a place, a regular place in the team this season? Of course, I think so. Yeah. I, I don't think that any player with confidence, apart from Callum McGregor, Matt O'Reilly, can really say that they're going and well, Cameron Carter Vickers and whoever we get in as a defender. I don't think there's anyone that, that is a dead set for every single game. And I think the way that and especially with the amount of the games that we're going to have this season. We've got the extra games in the Champions League. We've got the Cups to go for that we didn't win last season. And we've got to retain the Scottish Cup and the league. I don't think anyone... Well, the players that know it's a squad game. And the players will know that they will not play every single game. Even Cal McGregor won't play every single game. There'll be games that players will be left out um, just so that they can maintain their fitness. And it keeps the squad fresh. I would expect a lot more changes this season than what we had last season, I think. Build on confidence in your fitness issues getting sorted. Yeah, of course. Uh, that's the biggest problem I had in the beginning, uh, that the fitness was not on, on the level. So now we're working on it and hopefully it's going to be perfect for the start of the season. Did it almost feel frustrating at the timing of the end of the season because that was when you were saying you know you're you're picking up you're getting more game time you were feeling better. What do you mean? As in you know the, when the summer came around, did that feel? What are you talking about? You're slavering 
passionate about the bean as well said anyway that's enough, enough of nickel couldn't uh, there's a couple of other things i want to talk about obviously the norwich city situation with adam Ida. Um, Norwich City are still playing hardball. Uh, they, are, they are waiting for this new improved bid to come in from Celtic. Jonas Hoff Thornup um, will be able to get Norwich back to trying to get into the Premier League. Um, they want to try and keep Adam Ida. That's just a way of trying to get more money out of Celtic, isn't it? Let's face it. The window is open until the 30th of, of August. I've got a funny feeling they're going to try and drag this one out. You just, you just get that feeling from Norwich that they're going to try and drag this one out. But I think hopefully Celtic can get the deal done and over the line. The fact that Adam Eder has now come out and said, look, I want to go to Celtic. I don't want to stay at Norwich. I think that can help push the transfer along. It's all good stuff that's coming out from the Celtic side and from Adam Eder. It's just about getting this six million offer on the table and getting them to accept it as, as quick as they can, really. Um, obviously... Johnny Kenny is a Celtic player that has been out on loan. And it's a young player. And you've got to remember, when he came to Celtic, Johnny Kenny, he was he was really young when he came over from Ireland. But the side goal man um, could have done a bit better in the Champions League qualifiers last night. He squandered a couple of chances uh, for Shamrock Rovers to take the first leg back from Iceland in the open leg of their Champions League. He, uh, he missed a sitter, right, within, with 18 minutes to go. Um, he missed an absolute sitter, putting it past the post. <sighs> Will Johnny Kenny come back and be a Celtic player of any kind at all? Will he come back and... I mean, Johnny it says in this article that Johnny Kenny is get, he's gutted that he missed the second one. Um, yeah. You want him to be banging in goals. If, if he thinks he's going to come back to Celtic, he really needs to start banging in the goals. I think that's one player that will probably end up getting released by the end of his contract. Now, whilst there's no new news when it comes to regards to signings as yet, obviously we've had Darren D brought in as the B coach, um, removed from the B coach and took up this pathway manager's job. When you look at um, Adam Asker, there's been nothing coming out of Celtic about it, but he did put up on his LinkedIn. I'm happy to share that I'm now starting a new position as under 18's coach at Celtic Football Club. And see, when you see some of the comments from some of the people, he's got some good connections in the game, and as you would expect, but um, it's, it was interesting. Congratulations, mate, from a goalkeeping coach, a couple of pro U license candidates academy coach at southampton tom baird said congratulations ad all the best it was good working with you for a short time um i don't see there was another one that was so you yeah, for elite there's quite a lot of comments on it um uh, professional coach at scottish football association lee g whoever he is um coach analyst at dundee united football club says uh, congratulations mate and andrew stevies and construction ross county head coach Rod, ross county head of youth development and academy operation gordon duff says all the best so it's good when you see these kind of things going on i mean you think when football teams and people come into football teams you think there's a hatred for every other team out there but it's all about connections and this guy seems to have a lot of good connections going by his instagram his um linkedin sorry uh, which can only be good for the game and it can could be good for celtic so all the best for adam Ashka, uh, who took up his under 18s position at Celtic. Celtic haven't really spoke about it, but it is what it is. We're all looking forward to the new season. We're all looking forward to the game on Wednesday that will not be. What day is it today? Yeah, it is exactly. exactly. Um, the game against Queen's Park, there will be no Celtic fans at the game. The game kicks off at 7.45 Celtic Park time. It will be on Celtic TV, or if you've got a fire stick, you should fire up the fire stick. Well, I will be doing a live, as always, one hour and 15 minutes before the game, just when Celtic put out the lineups. Brendan Rodgers has confirmed that the likes of Matt O'Reilly, Liam Scales, and... Um, that will be back for that game, although players like Dyson, Maida, Rio Hotati won't, and Gustav Lager, Belke, and Rocky are injured. <sighs> what does that say for the season going ahead with those two? Um, and there, is a, there has to be some movement in the next week or so, obviously, with the, the team going heading out to America uh, within the space of the next week. Hopefully, we can do something in that department because 
if Rocky's injured at this stage of the season, you, you've just got that feeling that he's going to go into next season and he's going to pick up injuries again. Gustav lager Belki isn't fancied by the manager and hopefully he'll be able to find a new club. Anyway, Celtic fans can continue to watch Celtic TV and all the preparations for the upcoming season. Tell me if you're going to be watching the ones later at night, because I don't think I will. It's far too late for me. Um, and it's only pre-season games. I might do. It all depends. Anyway, on that note, I hope you have a fantastic day, Celtic fans all around the world. And watch out for a live later on this afternoon uh, if there's any new speculation or any new Celtic news comes around. Let's roll up to the party. Roll up, roll up to the party. Roll up to the party. Roll